हेलो आई शशिभूषण तिवारी वेलकम यू ऑल आज के वीडियो में हम मैकेनिक्स के ऊपर एक सो कॉल्ड मल्टी कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन करेंगे और ये क्वेश्चन आप सभी स्टूडेंट्स के लिए जो इलेवेंथ से ट्वेल्थ में जाने वाले हैं उनके लिए एक बढ़िया चेक साबित होने वाला है आप खुद को चेक कर सकते हैं जज कर सकते हैं कि आपकी प्रिपरेशन किस लेवल पे है अगर आपको ये क्वेश्चन पढ़कर बिल्कुल भी कुछ भी समझ में नहीं आ रहा यू डोंट गेट ए स्टार्ट मीन्स आपकी प्रिपरेशन रियली पुअर है एंड आपको बड़े बदलाव करने की ज़रूरत है अपने प्रिपरेशन के तरीकों में और इनफैक्ट uh, बहुत सारी चीज़ों में और जिन स्टूडेंट्स को ये क्वेश्चन पढ़कर फील आता है कि हाँ क्वेश्चन हम समझ रहे हैं कि ये किन चीज़ों पे बेस्ड है और वो मेरे सोल्यूशन को देखने के बाद अगर पाते हैं कि वो काफ़ी हद तक सही डायरेक्शन में जा रहे थे तो उन स्टूडेंट्स ने अच्छी लगन से प्रिपरेशन की है और वो अपने प्रिपरेशन में थोड़ा सा अंडरस्टैंडिंग को और जोर देना शुरू कर दें रादर देन चेजिंग दी नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस वो अंडरस्टैंडिंग पे ज़्यादा विशेष फोकस दे के पढ़ाई अगर करें तो काफ़ी अच्छा रिजल्ट ला सकते हैं और जिन्होंने इसे अंत तक कर दिया वो काफ़ी अच्छा कर रहे हैं ऐसा मानना चाहिए तो आइए समझते हैं हमारा आज का ये क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन को एक बार पढ़ देता हूँ आप सभी लोग इसको कैच करने के बाद इसके वीडियो को इसके एक पिक्चर स्क्रीनशॉट लेने के बाद रुक जरूर जाइएगा जरूर ट्राई कीजिएगा अ ट्रेन ड्राइव्स ऑन ए सर्कुलर सेक्शन वाइल स्लोइंग डाउन यूनिफॉर्मली द लेंथ ऑफ दिस सेक्शन इज एस एस इज ए गिवन क्वांटिटी द लेंथ ऑफ दिस सेक्शन इज एस एंड द टाइम इट टेक्स द ट्रेन टू ड्राइव थ्रू इट इज टी नॉट टी नॉट इज ए गिवन क्वांटिटी After driving through this section, the train's direction of motion is changed by an angle phi. And phi is a given quantity. At the beginning of this section, the train's speed was alpha times bigger than alpha times bigger than it was at the end of this section. Alpha is a number greater than one, and the initial speed was alpha times the uh, speed at the end of this section. At the instant the train is at the midpoint of this section. A passenger releases a pendulum bob of mass m in its equilibrium position. Find the instantaneous tension in the thread supporting the bob. Uh, a passenger in the train just releases a pendulum bob. A pendulum bob has been suspended from the ceiling of the uh, train, and passenger somehow brings the bob to its equilibrium position and releases it. So immediately after the release, you have to tell. what will be the tension in the string that is holding that bob so this is the question take a screenshot give it a try here i am proceeding with uh, solution uh as the question says for the first part is a bit of kinematics simple kinematics a train is moving on a circular track okay now this track is basically part of a circle and it subtends an angle phi at the center of the circle and this track length is also given it is s according to the question if you assume that the final speed of the train here is what should i say let us say u then the initial speed here is alpha into u the speed initially at the beginning of the section is alpha times greater than uh, the final speed at the end of the section alpha is a number greater than 1 so if the final speed is u then initial speed is alpha u. and it is said in the question that train is accelerated uniformly its speed is changing uniformly so what does it mean the speed of train is changing uniformly means the tangential acceleration of the train is constant uh, this if you assume that a train uh, the train is a particle then it is going in circle and its tangential acceleration acceleration component that is in the direction of tangent that is in the direction of velocity is a constant number right so uh, if a particle is traveling on a curved path and its tangential acceleration at happens to be constant then you can use these relationship v is equal to u plus at 
for writing the speed of particle at any time t if its initial speed u is known here a stands for the tangential acceleration right you can also use the other two equations that distance traveled is equal to ut plus half a t square remember a stands for uh, the tangential acceleration similarly the third equation can also be used v square is equal to u square plus 2 as here a stands for tangential acceleration so if you know these things you can easily work out the value of uh, u as well as tangential acceleration in terms of given quantities so that is the first task that you need to do because u is not a given quantity s is not a uh, i'm sorry tangential acceleration is not a given quantity s is given it is given that time taken to reach from here to here is t naught time is given this angle is given so you have to express tangential acceleration as well as initial velocity or final velocity in terms of given parameters that is your first challenge and i have already given sufficient hint that you can use these equations i am doing it in a slightly slightly different way though it is very much same but appears slightly different when acceleration is uniform when the acceleration is constant in that case the average speed can be written as initial speed plus final speed by 2 so initial speed is alpha u final speed is u by 2 this is average speed into time t naught this is distance traveled s so straight away you can see that u is 2s by 2s by alpha plus 1 into t naught right so you get the value of u in terms of given quantities in terms of quantities given in the question the first thing is done now if you wish to write tangential acceleration again you can do it tangential acceleration like in terms of given quantities can be written using these equations isn't it v is equal to u plus at or v square is equal to u square plus 2 as let me write i have not written the third equation let me use that one only u square is equal to alpha u square final speed initial speed minus 2 i am writing tangential acceleration uh, i don't know if i said something else a while ago we are trying to find out tangential acceleration so this is v square u square uh, i have written minus sign because it is retardation alpha t is basically tangential acceleration is basically in this direction it is retardation as the speed is slowing down so i have written minus sign into distance traveled right because i know the value of u so i know the value of at now what is at it will be alpha square minus 1 into u square divided by 2s so u is known to me you can substitute it here it will become alpha square minus 1 into 4s square 2s uh, alpha plus 1 whole square t naught square u square is 4s square alpha plus 1 whole square t naught square alpha square minus 1 by 2s so this gives you tangential acceleration as uh, 2s alpha minus 1 alpha plus 1 you can put it like this so it will become alpha minus 1 by alpha plus 1 right and t naught square will be there in the denominator so this basically completes the first part of the question i would say uh, you have written the tangential acceleration and the initial speed u in terms of given quantities right now the next thing that you need to understand is when the train is at the midpoint of the circular section what is its acceleration what is its acceleration so it is important to realize that when train is at the 
midpoint of the circular section. Uh, its acceleration has two components obviously. It is performing non-uniform circular motion. So, it will have an acceleration directed towards the center that is radial acceleration and one is tangential acceleration. We know the value of tangential acceleration in terms of given quantities, but we need to work out the radial acceleration. So, how will we calculate radial acceleration? Now, of course, you need to find the speed of the train over here. Remember that initial speed is alpha u, tangential acceleration is at, and this distance traveled is s by 2. So, you can work out this speed using the formula v square is equal to u square into 2 as. Again, the minus sign has been written to indicate that it is retardation. Now, I am not writing all the expressions. It will be a slightly bigger looking expression. You know the value of u, you know the value of a t. So, substitute, substitute for u, substitute for a t and you get v. That is speed of the train when it is at the midpoint of the section. Once you know the speed of the train, you can write its radial acceleration as v square by r. R is the radius of the circular track on which the train is moving. Now, R is nothing but S upon phi. Right? You will have to write all these expressions on your own. Please do it. So, the radial acceleration of the train is known. The tangential acceleration of the train is known. Now, have a look at this diagram. Suppose this is your train going into the plane of the board. Actually, train is going in a circle like this. It is going into the plane of the board. The center of the circle is somewhere here. In the reference frame of this train, in the reference frame of this train, if you consider this pendulum bob, then it will experience two so-called pseudo forces. The whole train, this person inside this train is having two acceleration. Basically, he is having one acceleration, but for our understanding, we are uh, dividing that acceleration into two components. One is tangential and one is radial. Of course, uh, this radial acceleration, this tangential acceleration will sum up to this acceleration. So, okay, uh, let us think as if it is having two accelerations. So, this pendulum bob in this reference frame will have two pseudo forces. One definitely acting in radial direction and that magnitude of this force will be m into a r. The another force will be in tangential direction. Like if train is going into the plane of the board, then tangential acceleration of the train is this way. So, the pseudo force will be into the plane of the board opposite to the direction of acceleration of the train. I am showing it like this. There is an inward force here, which is mass times tangential acceleration. And apart from that, there is a gravitational force mg. There is a gravitational force mg. So actually in this reference frame, this pendulum bob will be experiencing three mutually perpendicular forces apart from tension. Just forget about tension then there are these three mutually perpendicular forces. So, what will be tension? Tension will be a force that will be equal and opposite to resultant of these three mutually perpendicular forces. So, what is the value of tension? Oh, tension in the string will be nothing but m into a r square a t square g square. So, I have already told you how to write at. Uh, I have not written the exact expression, but I have given enough hint how to write a r. So, if you know a t, if you know a r, you know the value of tension in this string. Have a nice day. See you again.